So I'm just sitting here in the park uh, as I just got back from my first experience on my faith tour. This faith tour is really about exploring different aspects of spirituality so I can come up with my own relationship with God, Source, Universe. I can understand my own relationship to spirituality rather than through texts I've read or through mentors I've um, learned from and really just allow me to feel rather than to logically know what spirituality is to me. And so my faith tour is going to consist of me going to different churches, different temples, different spiritual practices in order to meet God in a deeper, more devoted way. So I'm going to tell you about how this came about. I'm going to tell you about what happened last night, which is crazy, like crazy. I had an experience that left me with wounds on my arms and legs that I'm going to tell you about. And then I'm going to tell you about my experience today at my first faith tour experience. Okay, so I'm on my way to my very first church. Well, not first, but first in a long time. And what I've decided, I'm going to sit down with you and kind of share a little bit more. But what I've decided is I'm going on a faith tour so I can understand what my relationship is to God outside of what I've been told, taught, shown, read about, and to really just witness God for myself. And so it's not about like discovering a religion, it's about building my own journey of faith and my own relationship with God. So lately I've been having these things called like conversations with God. And what I've been shown is that like God is here, God is listening. And what does my relationship with God look like, feel like, sound like? And yesterday, <laughs> I'll sit down with you more, but I fell off of one of those motorized scooters as I was riding to my friend's house. And in the morning, I'd asked um, God to show me that God is there. And sure enough, I'll tell you the whole story actually, but there was people there to support me. Like, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so this is gonna be my series called my faith tour and I'm going to share more with you later on. First of all, I decided that I was going to go on this faith tour because I've been feeling challenged by life, really extremely challenged by life, and mostly in the realm of money and men. And being challenged in the realm of money and men is that I ultimately feel lonely because the partner that I desire has not come into my world yet. And I've been in a feast or famine energy with money. So I can make the money and then the money is gone because I need to catch up on a bill or pay or whatever it may be. And I'll go into that a little bit more in depth, but it's like once I come out of the famine, then there's feast. And then it's like, I feel I've, I've been stripped away slowly of all the things that I've been sipping like joy. So I've been sipping the nectar of life out of these more materialistic worldly things like a nice car, like um, shopping or big lavish experiences. And I've been stripped of these things so I can wake up to deeper connection and embodiment to myself and to obviously source. And if I've been using money as a distraction, I've made a lot of money, and I've been using it to distract me from actually what is really true, right? Money is amazing and we it can help us live a really enhanced life and share a purpose with the world and allow us to um, share a message wide and far and it create experiences that will help people heal. But I was leaning into it from an egoic place. And so as I've been going through this experience of hard times as I've scaled back my business to recreate a new structure so that I can then scale it forward 
I have been faced with a lot of challenges in the past year and what I feel it's really coming to is this handing it over to source like I've been trying to muscle my way through is how I explained it to friends and family muscle my way through life I've been trying to strong arm my reality and make it something different than it is and in that there's an expectation that's created and when the expectation is created then and it's not met I'm then let down because well it should have gone my way and my inner child wants to throw this like crazy temper tantrum because she wants it now and she wants it her way and exactly how she wants it and really what I've had to do is build this relationship and say like can you trust me as the adult to guide you and ultimately then I get to say then God has said to me or source has said to me can you trust me that I get to be the, the adult so I'm handing over my circumstances and my challenges that have been really here for about a year and when I say here it's not consistent it's like I am in this deep valley and then I climb myself out and I feel like my fingertips are at the tip of like pulling myself out of this like big hole and then someone's at the top and like flicks my fingertips off and I fall back down and I'm like shit I thought I was out of this and then I am actually not out of it right and so what I've been trying to do is then forcefully try to muscle my way to the top of this hole to try to get out again when really it's like wait did you know that there's like this little pathway that actually has stairs that you haven't been looking at that can guide you to the top and that's really what this face tour is all about is like handing over my struggles my challenges my pains to source to god to something greater than me because i i've done the inner work right there i think i believe there's a really beautiful balance of both a lot of people will go and just try to hand their whole life over to god but never take the time to learn and heal the worldly wounds and the traumas and the pains and then vice versa doing the inner work through like therapy and counseling but never deepen their relationship with spirituality and i think there's a really beautiful co-creation of the two and i feel i've caught to a point where i've not mastered but i'm very well versed and i get this reflected back to me all the time you're very aware you're very understanding you feel like it feels like you've done so much work on yourself and i'm like yeah and the piece that i feel is missing is i've been trying to reach for outcomes and successes and f people and things that I buy and experiences that I go on to satiate this peace within me that has not been able to be satiated. This thirst within me that has felt unquenched for about a year now and maybe even longer because there's been a deep longing to understand what faith and spirituality is to me. So as I've been like really listening to everything around me and really paying attention to more and more and more of what is being shown and presented to me it's this really deep understanding that i'm lacking a relationship to god i'm lacking a relationship to source and i came from a catholic background so i have so much resistance when it comes to religious constructs and i have so much resistance to god in a in the name of god because of my Catholic background. Like I just fight it. So I've always been a source, universe, energy woman. And while that still holds true, I feel there's a deepening to the divine masculine in the spiritual realm. And I was just explaining how I feel really connected to the divine feminine with like Hindu goddesses and um, those type of practices. But I have a resistance towards the masculine when it comes to spirituality and I've healed my relationship with my father in the world so like my my father right my physical father my worldly father and now there's this space where I get to heal my relationship with the spiritual father and that can also mean an opening to be able to open to a man you know like to a, a, a partner in this lifetime a lover so I will be going on a faith tour. Um, we are going to do every Sunday for as much as I can commit to, like obviously if something comes up, but I'm devoting to every Sunday. I'm going to explore a new church, a new temple, a new some sort of spiritual exploration. 
and I'm gonna go to Buddhist temples, I'm gonna go to Hindu temples, I'm gonna go to Christian churches, I'm gonna go to um, churches that just talk about the energy in the universe, I'm gonna go to churches that are bring all religions together, I'm gonna go to a church that connects with A Course in Miracles, like I'm gonna do it all and I'm gonna feel where I feel most connected to God and build my own faith and build my own relationship to God. And um, I started this faith tour with something that felt most, I felt in most resistance to. I know that it's easy for me to go to a church where I know that they believe exactly what I have created as my belief systems. It's challenging for me to go to a Christian church because of my relationship with religion coming from a Catholic background. So today I went to a church called Red Rocks, Red Rocks Church in uh, Colorado, Lakewood, Colorado, and it was amazing. And so I'm going to share some clips here. And it's for AA because, you know, I, I don't, I'm not an alcoholic. I shouldn't have to go to AA. I was so full of shame. I am not an alcoholic. They, they, nobody's going to tell me. We can stand up boldly and say that Jesus, because of God, I can brag that I am seven years and seven months sober today. So as you can see, it was a very accepting, open, expressive uh, Christian church. The pastor was dressed, pastor? Pastor? See, I don't even know. Was dressed in um, a Denver Nuggets championship shirt since the Denver Nuggets just won. The choir, or I guess the band, was dressed in really expressive clothes themselves. They all had their own fashion. and. It felt very accepting and very loving and very warm. There were a few few pieces of resistance that kept coming up. Just the idea of religion altogether makes me contract. And the idea of like religious titles makes me contract. Another piece that felt really that I felt in resistance to was the idea of sin. I don't believe right now that sin is I don't know I don't believe that there's a such thing as sin I believe that we do everything because of a reason that brings us to the next space and place and they have this uh, monthly theme right now at this church called the book club where they bring out authors who share topics about like that have to do with their book and so the woman that spoke today I forget her name but I'll probably put it right here has a book called uh, re reframe your shame and so she was talking about how shame is so um, crippling and can also be like a killer of the soul because um, there's so much criticism and silence that happens when we carry and hold shame and the way she was speaking about shame was so aligned with what I do in my work today and now and so that felt really in resonance like I was like okay God was like you can you can come here and I'm going to meet you and tell you that you're on the right path and can you open up to these other things. So my view on shame was like, or my view on sin is it felt similar to shame. Like you did wrong and I want you to know that, right? Like shame on you is what people say when it's, when they're talking about sin, at least in the Catholic church that I grew up in. So that felt really contracting. And of course, all these places where I feel contraction, I'm gonna to continue to explore, but I'm just, this is like very open and vulnerable series that I'm doing that I feel is going to, yeah, just be my journey to what faith feels like for me. So that's the, the two pieces. And then 
the other piece that felt contracting was just every time they mentioned Jesus. Um, again, coming from the Catholic background and going to Catholic school, I feel resistance towards religion. So I don't know. I haven't explored exactly what that is, but um, I maybe just don't even understand like the idea of Jesus. Even though I went to Catholic church, I feel that or Catholic school and church. And I went and got my baptism, my communion, first communion and confirmation. I can't tell you um, what even goes on in the Bible because I just did not feel connected to the religion. So that's my experience with my faith tour today. It was a beautiful, welcoming, amazing church. Like if I would recommend a Christian church to anyone, it would be that. That was like so dope. The band was epic. The people were amazing. It felt very like... Like I could be human in my messiness there and be so loved and it didn't feel fake. Like it felt everyone was like super rude. It was very diverse. Um, and there was a lot of connections to just people's testimonies and I'm very much about testimonies, right? Um, I asked my clients for testimonials. I've shared my testimony um, through my journey up to this point. And I feel that they spoke to something which is my what I stand for massively which was like turn your pain into purpose your pain breeds a purpose your troubles turn into triumphs right and that that felt really amazing after that church I decided to go to the bathroom and then I was like okay I have like 45 minutes to kill before I'm gonna go to my massage and I went to the bathroom came out and then I was called to like the prayer area where one of the beautiful, lovely women, her name's Leslie, she prayed over me or just sat with me to listen to what I was challenged by. And it was just myself sharing that I feel disconnected and maybe like a little numb to life. Like I don't have really high emotions or really low emotions. I'm just kind of like coasting, which I know is not my truth. And I know a year ago I was so connected to emotional intimacy and what was transpiring. And so I just bawled. I just cried. I don't even know what I was crying for. I was just crying, bawling my eyes out. And just felt like I had been seen and heard and connected with through source, through God. So, yeah. And then I walked outside. And I was waiting for my Uber. Because like I said, I feel like God has stripped everything from me that I was sipping worth from. Or sipping fulfillment from. And so I don't have a car. And so I was calling my Uber. And the lovely couple that was sitting next to me in the aisle um, at church offered to like give me a ride 20 minutes to my destination. Which was crazy. Which brings me to my last story about how I took a spill yesterday. So as I've been learning that I'm disconnected and that there's a deep desire for more faith and more spirituality and more God, that I asked God yesterday morning to bring me to understand that he's here because I feel unseen and unheard by God. And bring me to understand that you're watching, that you're here, that I'm taken care of because sometimes I feel like I don't know. And what I got from this was as I took the spill on the scooter, I was driving the scooter and I was driving a scooter that had the handlebars that were like not facing forward. They were like 45 degrees to the left. So I was already like, this is a recipe for disaster, but I'm going to get on it. And then I was called to like listen to some music. So I pulled out my phone to just switch the song or to put the song on. And as I was almost done with putting the song on, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm about to like screw this up. I should pull, probably put my phone down. And then I was like, ah, oh, but we're almost there. Just click play. And as I clicked play, I felt the, the scooter wobble. I was like, oh shit. And then the scooter wobbled. And then I tried to correct it. Scooter wobble, tried to correct it. But again, because the handlebars weren't straight, I couldn't correct it properly. So I think I overcorrected. I hit a ditch. I flew over the handlebars on those like lime lift scooters. My purse belongings went everywhere and my phone spilled out in the middle of the floor everything everything was out in the middle of the floor the car behind me luckily stopped and this couple walked over to me walking their dog like oh my god are you okay and this woman ran down the street and the two people in the car and in the the dog walkers didn't really know what to do until the woman that ran down the street was like oh my god come into my home i'll bandage you up and get you on your way and so like you can sit on the porch if you feel okay you can come inside and I have a really good read on energy and people and so she brought me in her house I wiped off my wounds she bandaged me up and then she tells me that her and her husband are doctors and I was like okay god like 
if all people like I spill and you bring me to a house of two doctors like okay got it and then um her husband offers to drive me to the, the destination I was going to to my friend's house so I can um not have to walk or not have to scooter again so she drives he drives me there drops me off I make it right in time for the event that we were going to and then sure enough I see like a rainbow in the sky and I'm like so that was like, okay, you haven't been hearing the subtle little nudges that I've been telling you and showing you that are reminding you that I'm here watching, listening and remember and knowing who you are. And so I need to give you this bigger nudge. And so I'm safe. I'm totally safe. I just have a little scratches and my knees scratched, this knees scratched. I have like a shoulder scratch and then my arm scratch and everything else is good. So I was like, okay, got it. So. I've just been getting all these like little and big reminders now that God is here. And so this faith tour is going to be amazing. And I'm going to continue to share my journey and it's going to be pretty informal. Honestly, I just want to like be raw and real and really open up to like what's been transpiring in my life and why this journey is happening. And I'll probably share deeper about what's really called me here, but I feel that's like a good introduction for now. So if you feel called to join my faith tour and just learn more about what I'm going to be doing when it comes to deepening my faith and deepening my relationship with God source, then just go ahead and click subscribe, like, comment below if you have questions. I know this is like, I don't actually, I've never seen anyone do this before to be honest, but this is what I'm doing. So if you have questions, I know it's kind of a little bit out there. Um, tell me in the comments below, tell me in the comments below if it resonates, if you are on the same path where you feel numb and disconnected and dissociated from life and yeah, let's go on this journey together. It feels vulnerable, but necessary. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And may you just find a little faith today. If you're going through a challenge, if you're going through a hard time, like you don't have to do it yourself. We find deeper struggle when we figure that we need to muscle our way through life and that's what I've been trying to do so no longer here I'm handing it over to